how do you how do you guys manage how do you manage the stress i mean craig i know probably just being able to go lock yourself away in, in a separate room albeit working but a slight distraction from from, from what you what you're doing constantly but what is it i mean bear in mind there's going to be other people watching this as well maybe in a similar situation maybe in a completely different situation but for you guys is there a way that you are able to manage this stress is there is there some tips that you might be able to give to other people um you know I think how, this is, <laughs> there's lots of things out there and I, I had this conversation with colin yesterday and i'm terrible for not listening to my own advice because if i was within the family tree right now i'd be saying you know read a book go run in um, have a bath there's calm apps headspace there's all sorts of apps but i don't listen to my own advice for me, um, I, I struggle because I can't go out. I can't go for a walk or run because I'm shielding with Sophie. Um, so just being able to get out in the garden. And as I mentioned before, Sophie is so sassy. So for me, it's actually making sure I'm enjoying the family time. So I need to remind myself as much as I'm getting stressed and getting frustrated with, you know, trying to get the communication right, trying to speak to the professionals, trying to get the PPE equipment, I have to remind myself to step away. If I step away and then making sure I'm enjoying that quality time with the family, everything just seems to you know everything goes back and i was like okay mm. i'm all right now you know we might be throwing paint around in the garden we might be baking bread whatever <laughs> it is we're doing just enjoying that quality family time you see it's quite an easy way to then forget the stresses and the worries of what's going on out there at the moment yeah. i must admit we've been really amazed during this sorry during this time where we are getting literally daily text messages and photographs of the families who are sharing their experiences and you know a lot there's a lot of fun going on and no it's yeah. a worrying time and nobody is really really worrying but there's also a lot of fun and a lot of family time going on in those houses and it's it is really lovely to see i think this is great we just don't know hopefully it's not going to be too much longer but we just don't know and you know it's trying and like you say leanne and you know you know in your family and you all are that actually you know to share their experiences is absolutely fantastic and it's amazing because look at your faces now. Dealing with you deal with it with such grace, right? And yeah. I think it's really important for people to remember that just because just because you as a parent or as anybody can sit there now smiling, being like this this is fine, like. But what's actually going on in your mind and the experiences that you've had over the last few weeks and in some some cases maybe years, and, you know the resilience and the strength that you guys have is absolutely incredible. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you must never, ever, ever, ever forget that. And of course, there's gonna be hard days. I can't even begin to imagine how hard it is for you guys. You're having one kid at 11 months old. <laughs> <laughs> so, to see what you guys uh, are going through on a day-to-day -day basis, honestly, it's so much respect to every single one of you. Um, and, to, and to Rachel, to you, you know, as you yeah. quite rightly say, there is, there's a hell of a lot of positives that are, that are happening at the same time and being able to have family time so much family time that you almost think oh do i, do I feel guilty <laughs> having so much family time as well, well you, you've got to you've got to celebrate those moments where you just are on the floor rolling around in hysterics because of something that's happened and then there's inevitably half an hour later maybe a day later there's going to be something that you have to deal with and there's no way that you can run away from it you can't even distract your yourself in a different room but as long as you guys are looking after yourselves and looking after each other yeah. that is the best that you can do i think you've hit the nail Absolutely. on the head there sort of making you know remembering to laugh and have fun one of the things we've started to do with safety and i don't know whether i'm going to live to regret it but she really loves me reading her stories mm -hmm. and, and rachel you'll know from every time she's been in icu and i've had <laughs> the silly voices and all the disney voices and yeah. so she wants me to read her a story so we read the story but mummy has to do the really ridiculous silly voices so we've been recording them and sharing them with her friends and we're going to be recording them and sharing them with well child so well child we've obviously been doing quite a bit with the well child tv so um so you never know i could send it your way for archie you could have a little story there <laughs> you're a shining example of, of of just being super parents i say just being a super parent and and spinning so many plates and juggling so many balls at the same time it's amazing it really is amazing and, and to see you smiling and you know either grinning and bearing it or genuinely just like this is this is life it's, to a certain extent there's there's not much that you can do about it except where is the where is the light at the end of the tunnel let's focus on that and and keep the morale up because it, it's all about morale. If morale is up, if you're waking up in the morning going, right, new day, got my whole family here, what are we going to do? Of course, there's that fear of what might happen, but 
there's so much that's out of our control and all of a sudden we now realize how small we are in the, in the, in the grand scheme. Mm-hmm.